Yeah, welcome back to another Instagram live. Yay, Valentine is around the corner. Oh, Anita, you look so excited. Although you've not told us about your Valentine packet. As for me, I'm going clubbing and I'll keep boiling. So well, my up? plans are solid though, and I don't even want to tell you about it. Me, I want to know about it too. Please, oh, you guys should leave this honey baby alone. You know, Valentine is that season and atmosphere of love and you can't even afford to miss out. Last year, my boyfriend got me some very lovely flowers. Wow, tell us about Those it. Those flowers were extremely lovely and they smelled nice. I feel so unloved. I can smell Valentine in the air and I'm so unloved. Please, who am I tagging along, girls? Oh. Hi, babe, I'm home. Hey, babe? babe? Welcome. Uh, why? I'll be with you shortly. Okay. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Hey, babe. Hey. Good to see you. Same How here. are you? Uh, How's work? Work is there. You look a bit tired. I am tired and hungry. I think I should get something for you in the fridge. There's some food in the fridge. Ah, please do. <laughs> ah, meanwhile, I have just for you. Oh, really? Huh? Can you imagine what these work people are saying? Mm. Huh? That they have to conduct a review of redundancy to mm. see you'll be promoted or sacked. Can you imagine that? Hey, those things shouldn't bother you. You've worked probably more than anybody else in that firm. Mm. Evil cannot come near you. Yeah. Hey. Mm. Moreover, promotion comes not from the south, yes, west, or yes, east. Well, yes. From God. Yes. Um, I think you should. Let's get in the kitchen and grab something uh, to eat. No, I, I, I don't have strength to cook hey, right now. Come on, Please. come uh, on, come on. Let's get in the kitchen. Oh, God. What I want right now is lunch in bed. Hey, we want to start cooking. Join me in the kitchen. Uh, 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 babe, what's happening right here? Uh, uh, hey, oh, my God. Wow, mushrooms. How do you not be craving mushrooms, babe? babe? By the time you're done <coughs> eating this food, you'll be singing email huh. like Nathaniel Vasi. <laughs> <laughs> but babe. Yeah? Abba. <clears throat> you know this cooking thing can be an everyday thing. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Babe. Yeah. At least finish this one first. Mm, okay, well, but by the way, babe. You should have waited till tomorrow, which is Valentine. So this will be very special. First, babe. I'm a Yoruba man and it is not called Valentine. Huh. It is Valentine. Fa. <laughs> fa. Fa. Valentine. Valentine. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, uh. Anyways, I, I don't really have anything wow. against okay. Valentine, you know, but I just don't like the air around mm. it. Mm. Let me start with this. But then, first. as for me and my family, I get to offer this token of love on the 13th mm. and any other day that I mm. get to do it. I see. Well, I'm not complaining. It's fine. This food to please all me up. I'm very hungry. I can't wait to have a great taste. I mean, to have a fourth taste of this great stomach infrastructure I'm seeing here. <laughs> so, babe, mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking we should have another one-on-one -on -one session with um, a few of our people tomorrow after service. Hmm, that's true. It's worth considering. I hope I get to speak with Tokbe. Yeah, um, talking about Tokbe. Yeah? I noticed she's been sort of withdrawn lately. Hmm, that reminds me. Carol called in yesterday. Oh, Carol too. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited oh, she... to know that the word of God works. You know, you need to sit with her and hear the revelations she pours out just from studying the book of Ruth and Esther. Wow. It amazes me at the confusion young believers face when it comes to this issue of God's will in marriage. Mm. When we have the Bible and the Holy Spirit to guide us. <sighs> See? Yeah? 
Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh, oh, this is a special Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Babe. I love you too. Uh, uh -uh, this guess is so what? beautiful. Let me not sell it in my wet hands. I yes. also wrote a poem for you. Ooh, let's hear it. Okay, have this. Thank you. And be blessed as you listen to this. Mm. These mushrooms. <laughs> oh, the mushrooms. <laughs> I jar up hmm. the full package of my heart. Mm -hmm. I would get me a pen. Okay. And write you a poem. Mm. For you, your rose is mm. the brightest red. Oh my God. Most beautiful. See how lovely the form. Mm. Your violets are the prettiest blue. Mm. And I'll get them. Oh my. From Venice or Ikorobi, <laughs> <laughs> you would smell the petals and smile. Content. Huh. Typical of you. Mm. I would write you a song mm -hmm. and you would sing with me mm. off key. <laughs> you would stand up and dance, swaying and tired mm. to your own beat. Oh, baby, that's so lovely. <laughs> I love you. Thank love you. Love you so much, babe. Love you forever. Thank you very much. Love you Thank forever. You. Hi, David. Hello. How are you, love? <laughs> I'm fine, but I'm not sure about this, your love path. <laughs> How about now? It's just a very harmless love. Have eh? mm. you forgotten that God is love? Mm. God is love, oh. but that's how you start from love and then drop right into my heart. <laughs> That's what, that's, what, that's what actually I, I actually saw what you did there. However, you're not totally <laughs> wrong. I mean, you know, love emanates from the heart. Um. Yes, so. <laughs> Anyways, that aside, how are you? What have you been up to? I'm fine. Nothing much. Just sitting here. Really? Mm -hmm. So. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. What do you have planned for tomorrow? <laughs> well, I'm not really sure for now, but I have this um, program coming up. Ah, uh, hold it right there. Hold the thought, hold the thought, hold the thought. Now, let me tell you something. So I have something. Mm -hmm. What about, think about it, a luxury dinner date tomorrow evening? What do you say to that? What's the catch? Is it the dinner, the luxury, or the restaurant? I mean, maybe just a little bit of every single aspect, or I mean, all of them all together. So, what do you say? Hmm. Well, I'll think about it. Let me get back to you. Hmm. This one that you want to think about it. Hmm. Anyways, while you're thinking about it, me, I'll be praying about it too. So that whatever answer that you're going to give me is going to favor me. So you take it Happy in your heart. Praying. I take it to God in prayer. I hear you. Okay, no. Alright. I'll talk to you later, all right? Alright, no problem. Bye. Yeah. Love. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Hey, bro, Bio. Pastor. How are you doing? I'm very well. And you? <laughs> bro, Bio. <laughs> bro, Bio. What's up with the big green, the smile, the excitement? <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, but you know, I'm, I'm normally like this. Even you look so dressed up for Valentine's, mm. Pastor. <laughs> mm. It's beyond that, bro, Bio. <laughs> Happy Valentine's time, by the way. Thank you. You have something to tell me? <laughs> yes, I do, Pastor. Obviously, bro, bye. Thank you. <laughs> Talk to me more ears. Okay. So, I took her out yesterday. Hey! <laughs> bro, be you! Pastor. <laughs> now that's my man. Thank you, Pastor. I love that. Thank you. Talk to me. How did it go? 
We went to a really nice place. Hmm. Hope you didn't take us to Mama Puto. No, of course not. It was a really good restaurant on the yeah. island. Hmm. And I enjoyed myself. And she also said she enjoyed herself as That's well. That's it. That's it. You know, even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ had to leave the glorious heaven to come down to the wretched earth <laughs> and die for wretched sinners. True, Pastor. brothers. And that they had him. Let us soften up a bit, right? Yes, Pastor. That's nice. I agree. And that's God's way. Talk to me. Well, so I, I totally agree because uh, I had a good time. And she also said that she enjoyed herself. Mm. So I took mm. the opportunity to ask her once again mm. if she would marry me. Mm. And this time she said she was going to think about it and mm. pray also. And then I reminded her mm. that God has big ears. <laughs> he always hears us when we pray. So that she won't take one year praying about it, Pastor. Behold, the ears of the Lord are not too heavy. I agree, I Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Now, I'm going, I'm going to lend you wisdom from the words of one of our elders in faith. At this point, you would need to give her some space, some breathing space. Give her time to pray. Allow her to hear God herself. Give her the benefit of doubt that God also talks to her, right? It would probably mean that you may need to cut down on the calls, the text messages, the chats, so that your business around her and around her life does not cloud her sense of good judgment or hearing from God. <laughs> Pastor, that will be a little difficult. To... I know, but it will be worth the sacrifice. You know, it may sound a bit archaic or old school, but in marriage, the older the school, the better the moves. <laughs> ah, don't leave me, don't leave me. <laughs> uh, Brabaya, uh, I think we'll have this conversation again. We'll talk further about this. Pastor. I need to have a very quick session with bro. Okay, sure. No problem. Bless Pastor. you, bro. Thank you, Pastor. Bro, be you. Pastor. Day. <laughs> I like it. Hi. Hello. Wow. So nice to see you. Thank you. Yeah. What so, was that for me? Happy Valentine. Thank you. You really look good, Thank by the way. You. Oh, you really Thank you so much. Uh, right. It's a whole package. Ah. All right, let me get this for you. Thank you. How was mm. work? Fine. Bag? How did work go today? Uh, I didn't work. I was basically planning. <laughs> and, you know, really? So, Rosalie. Thank you, sir. Please have your seat. Thank you, Pastor. Brother Sule. Good day, sir. Yanni. My fear color faster. You must teach me better also than this Yanni. I'm only shouting all the time. <laughs> the time, the time faster. Uh, was my wife already up when you were coming? Oh, yes, Pastor. She, she's delivering a very powerful sermon as I walked in. Mm. Pastor BC with the Rema. <laughs> Okay, Bruce Lee, so you're next in line for a one-on-one -on -one counseling session. Okay. And that's why I asked for you to be called in. Okay. Where do I start from? Okay. I was going to ask, um, are you interested in or eyeing any sister yet in church? Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. I've been waiting for this opportunity. Mm. Yes, Pastor, there is a sister mm. in church. Mm. Her name is Sister Tokpe. Mm. Yes. Um, Pastor, I, I fancy that sister a lot. Mm. In fact, during our last year conference, we were both in the same team. Mm. And that gave us an opportunity to develop a rapport. Mm. We got talking. We'd even used to go out a few times to have lunch. Mm. Ah, Pastor, such, she's such a delightful lady. Mm. In fact, she's everything I want in a woman. Mm. About six months ago, 
I made my intentions known to her. Mm. But I'm really not sure what her decision is. Whether it's a yes or a no, I really can't place my finger on it. Mm. In fact, today she picks my call, then for like two weeks, she doesn't reply my messages, she doesn't even respond to my calls. She would see me in church, but she would just do as if she doesn't know me, even when I make efforts to get to talk to her. But I know she likes me as a Christian brother, but mm. further than that, I'm really not sure. However, Pastor, when she has a need, mm. not necessarily financial, she has really never asked me for money, but Pastor, when she has a need, I should be calling me up and down. And as a good brother, <laughs> as someone who actually likes her, I would respond and mm. offer assistance as much as possible. But afterwards, it's all over. She goes blank. So, safe to say, um, officially, you've been friend zoned or Christian brother zoned. <laughs> you are a pastor. <laughs> Something more like that. Talk about I'm not complaining, but I'm really grateful for the zone I currently occupy in your life. However, like, I don't mind that that zone could be expanded a little bit. I mean, give me more responsibilities now. I'm capable. I was actually serious when I said I want to marry you. David, you know, I like you a lot. Wait, but... wait, 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 wait. I know you are a sister in the Lord. But I've read the same Bible from cover to cover, and there's no place where it says that it's a sin for you to say that you love me now. Come on. Fine. I do love you. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not everyone I give the same attention that I give you. For example, I don't go for so many non-work-related lunches like this. But... I mean, so... What exactly is holding us back? What exactly is holding us back? You love God. You know the place that God occupies in my life, like he's number one in my life. And if God had not even given me a go ahead, I wouldn't even be sitting down here having this conversation with you. I mean, you're beautiful, you're smart, and even that big four that you are working for, even not that God told them that they should not give me the job. And I had to go and set up my own tech firm, I mean, you know, you should have really tried any of the other four. You'd have probably become a KPMG bro, instead of the tech bro that you are now. <laughs> Tokpe, I know you are smart too, but you are not going to take us away from this conversation we are having. I mean, back to more serious and issues, like what exactly is holding us back, Tokpe? I hate to admit it, but I'm a little bit confused. You know, I turned 30 last month and I started off pursuing my career like it was the only thing that mattered. But now, I'm just realizing that it's probably not as important as I thought it was. When I turn to my right, it's either an old colleague from the university is getting married or some junior back in secondary school just had a baby. And for the first time in my life, I'm starting to feel some feelings of unaccomplishment and even a little bit of loneliness. I mean, me too. I feel exactly the same way. See, I know I'm not Adam and I know you're not Eve, but let's just use our imaginations a little bit. Assume I am Adam, mm. I'm your Eve, and this beautiful place here is the Garden of Eden. Mm. Let's just get married. Okay, okay. Marriage seems a bit too heavy for yep. you to take right now, mm -hmm. okay? So let's start a relationship. And then, in six months' time, let's see where it leads us. What do you say about this now, Tokwe? Yes. Wait. <coughs> you said yes. I just want to be sure. What's the yes for? Yes to us, starting a relationship <laughs> that could lead to marriage. In fact, like, that's the best news I've heard in a really long time, okay? Like, I'm not even joking. You know what? Let's just hurry up. Where's the way that? Hurry up, eat your food, mm -hmm. and when we are done, I'll drop you up. In fact, if I want, we drop off. 
<laughs> I'll take you to go and get to here. In fact, stuff you up. I mean, today, like, today is a special this. day. This is nothing compared. I told you I'm capable now. <laughs> Are you doubting my capabilities? Where's the waiter, please? And that's how she too ignored me. Hmm. At least in our own case, it was an express no. Pastor, you see, in our own case, that's Agnes. She made it very clear that her parents insisted that she must only marry an Edoma. Mm. At least that automatically ruled me out. But Pastor, with regards to talk by now, I really cannot put my finger on it. I really do not know why her response came out, you know, neither here nor there. Or recently I realized, or maybe I shouldn't have even asked her out. Hmm. Although I later realized, Pastor, you know, she has a master's from a university in the UK. Hmm. And she even made first class in Covenant. Hmm. But look at me on the other hand. I only have a first degree from a state university. <laughs> okay, Pastor, <laughs> we thank God. Um, doing all right by the grace of God. But what has that brought me relationship-wise? <laughs> you see, bro, Sully, nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing comes to a believer except by the instrumentality of faith and mercy. Look through the scriptures. You would see several instances whereby Christ says, your faith has made you whole. Mm. Don't forget, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that must come to him must believe that he is, and he is a reward of day that diligently seek him. Same applies to marriage, Brosley. Mm. Same applies to marriage. If you don't have faith to receive what God has in store for you maritally, you don't have the courage and the faith to come into the place that God has prepared for you maritally. How do you expect to have faith to receive or to deal with issues that would arise when you eventually get married and you start a home? Hmm? Why am I saying this? Brusile, you can't be intimidated by a woman because she has master's degree, she's got a first class. You need to have security in your identity in Christ. Hmm. Brusile, you need to have security in who you are in Christ. There's so much value on you. You're a believer. There's no limits to what you can be. It does not yet appear what you can be yet. God sees Abraham without having a child and he calls him a great nation. Russell, you need to work on that. Thank you, Pastor. And in all honesty, not to sound too spiritual or too scriptural, in reality, your level of confidence really would convince a woman as to how ready you are really for marriage mm. or otherwise. Mm. So I feel this might just have been a factor in your relationship with Sister Tokwe. So you want to get back and work on it. Bro, Sully, you've got to be confident, right? Not arrogant, not boastful, not proud, but you've got to be confident in who you are as a believer. Got it? Thank you, Pastor. Oh. All right, so Thank let me you help so you with your stuff dinner. and everything. Um, That's such a yeah. nice time. Tope, I mean, sorry, it's nothing serious. Mm -hmm. It's just this question that I've been meaning to ask you for a while. Oh, okay. But I couldn't get to it. Um, what's your genotype? Um, I'm AS. Your what? AS, AS. What's up? Wow. Is that a problem? Fuck where? I'm ES too. Oh wow. Oh my god. Yeah, but 
Isn't that something we can pray about? I don't know. I read there some okay, you don't new get, methods you, of... You don't get it. I'm AS. Yeah, I know, but... <sighs> oh my God. I mean, you, you don't get it. Like... David. I, I, I'll speak with you later. Oh. Like, did he just... Oh, God. Oh my God, what do I do? Who do I call? Jesus, why is this? Why is this happening to me? Pastor BC, oh Pastor BC. He got me, God, Jesus, Jesus, what's this? Hello. Tokwe, how are you? You called at the right time. I literally just got off speaking at our Valentine's Day event at church and I was hoping to see you. What happened? You didn't show up. Pastor, I had a date. Oh, that's great. Well, I'm not attempting to judge you in any way. I'm glad to hear that you could finally go on a date. You know, when we had put the program together, we knew that people who were in relationships may have commitment with their lovers, depending on their beliefs on Valentine's Day. For me and Pastor Femi, though we don't celebrate Valentine as a couple, but we actively encourage people in our church who are in relationships to do so. Of course, in all women. Hello. Pastor, why is this happening Papa. to me? Why is it that when I finally decide to open my heart and love someone, this genotype issue just springs up from nowhere? David has asked me out for a while, and even though I grew fond of him, we, we, we didn't really do anything. And now that we finalized our relationship, he doesn't want anything to do with me again. He found out I'm AS, and Pastor, he literally just walked out of our dinner. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry to hear this, okay? You know you deserve all the best there is in the world, as far as finding a right partner is concerned. But how do you feel right now? You know, if you cannot interpret the emotions you feel, you may not know what Pastor, kind of comfort you are in need of. Pastor, I feel inadequate. I feel incomplete. You know, it's really been a horrible season for me. From turning 30 last month and realizing that almost everyone around me is married. And then now, I can't get the guy I want because he's AS and I'm AS. It's God punishing me or something. Why, why can't my life just go smooth? What is wrong? Ah. Oh, God. Okay. Of course, you need to calm down. Things are not as bad as they seem. I know that his actions may appear hurtful and ridiculous, and there may be a thousand and one emotions that you are trying to process at this time. Wait, is this guy born again? He's pastor. He's born again. He's spirit-filled. He's even a minister at um, Pastor Lade's parish. Oh, Pastor Lade's parish. Yes. That's interesting. You know, as someone who is AS myself, I must confess to you that the issue of genotype in marriage is not an easy one at all. My parents were both AS and two of my siblings were SS. And I must be sincere with you that it was not an easy one growing up. Many parents, of course, would literally warn their children about repeating the same mistakes they had made. Yeah, but Pastor, it's, it's, it's not my fault. What am I going to do now? You see? He clearly doesn't want to make such a mistake. But Takwe, I do not really think that the issue of genotype is the most critical issue you should focus on right now. You know you serve a God who is capable of changing genotypes as easily as the day comes tonight. What this issue has exposed to me is that you are allowing yourself to make a decision on marriage primarily driven by pressure. Is he the only brother who has ever approached you? No, 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 Pastor. There is Brasule from church, and there is this other guy from my office. You know, Brasule has never really been an option for me because he didn't seem to know what he wanted. I think he was just trying to find a compensation in me after Sister Agnes turned him down. And the guy from work? <sighs> no, that one is just looking for someone to sleep with, though. I've told him off repeatedly, and I'm even going to report him to HR the next time he tries to reach me for any non-work-related matter. Great. That's my girl. I'm glad you took your stand. 
about the guy from work and that you're able to read Sully's intentions. But this new guy, the fact that he has no obvious flaws doesn't mean he's the one. Now, don't get me wrong, he may be the one. But, of course, with God's stamp of approval. See, but the issue that just played out today is a further proof of why you need to seek out time and pray to find out God's will for you. Okay, Pastor, I'll, I'll take some time off, maybe this, um, a few days to just pray about it and seek God's face. Okay, that's great. Um, Tope, has something like this ever happened to you before? Yeah, I remember. It's, it's been a while though, when I was 26, you know, I just got in my first job. There was this guy that was in my mom's church and had gotten close to the family. He asked me to marry him. And although I wasn't so concerned about marriage and anything at that point, I prayed about it and I had peace about the whole thing. But Pastor, can you imagine that it was the day I said yes to him, that very day, that he found out that people from his side are not supposed to marry people from my side in this country. And that was a deal breaker for him. And he really didn't want to see me again. That really <laughs> got me heartbroken. I, I applied for my master's afterwards and just left. Mm, now I see. Do you see that retreat you want to go for? Yes, Pastor. I think it's important to add fasting to it. When you see patterns like this, you need to spend time to pray and fast to break such circles. Now understand that this does not take away the fact that Christ has redeemed you from the cause of the law. But it just means you need to enforce your liberty by the word. I will definitely be praying for you. And I know you, this Pastor. will work out for your good. Amen. Okay. Amen. Thank you so much. I really feel I have a sense of direction now. Thank you, Pastor. Bye, Pastor. Oh, my, 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 my. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Today's been awesome. Yes, it has. <laughs> you know, babe, mm -hmm. I have a strong perception that um, we're making a headway um, on this your work issue. Now, just today, I was just informed that this week, we made the biggest sales volume and profit margin ever in three years. And also this same week, my auditor called me and told me he found out the departments in my business in which someone is stealing from me. <laughs> I'm about to surprise them at work tomorrow. So how does this relate to my work, man of God? <laughs> Um, do you remember the last time something like this, something significant as this happened in my business was three years ago, prior to your promotion to this current role? Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. I remember. Okay, so I believe these things are talking, pointing us to one direction that there is light at the end of the tunnel of your work issue. Amen. <laughs> I receive it. <laughs> By the way, um, how was your Valentine session? Oh. Bro, so you told me that you were spitting rim and fire. Mm -mm. That wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't me at all. That was the Holy Spirit. And I give all glory to him. I trust you. Baby. But, you know, there's nothing as the joy that I have right now, knowing that I'm able to share with these people. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially these young minds. Mm -hmm. Nothing has given me greater joy than sharing with them, mm -hmm. especially in this season. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm excited about the work that the Word of the Lord is doing in the lives of our people. <sighs> If we can just be more intentional again and begin to pray these following prayers, that the Lord will give us the spirit of wisdom and that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened. Yes, hmm? amen, amen. I believe we'll see 
greater changes Amen. in our people. Amen. I believe so too. I believe too. Strongly. <laughs> hey, let's go. Oh. Okay, whenever you're ready. Holy word, mm. long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with God's own heart. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Ancient words ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient word impart. Ancient word ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come. We open hearts, oh let the ancient word Ancient word ever true Changing me and changing you We have come, we open hearts, oh let the ancient word Before we enter space, amen, let's go. Amen, amen. God is awesome. Your word impacts. Jesus is beautiful. Oh, yes, yes. Hey, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. 